So a company called GoWooTar recently sent me their little red dot sight called the A20. It's a little red dot sight that comes mounted on a rail platform ready for your rifles. We're going to give it a try out here on the range and see if we like it. Welcome back to OG's Danger Show. So let's take a look at the things that GoWooTar includes in the box. One thing I like about these newest red dot optics is their shake awake technology. You can basically leave them turned on because everybody forgets the batteries. And then when you need it, pick up the rifle and it's ready to go. They include here the two tools you will need to operate on this dog. They include a little package of screws for when you need to mount this onto a pistol down here is a package with it with a cr1632 battery so you're good to go right out of the box and a rubber covered optic so on its face this thing looks a whole lot like a hollow sun it comes mounted from the factory out of the box on this piece of rail here and that's good because that's what we're going to use it for today is on a rifle We'll take this off and take a look at its footprint to see if it can be mounted on a pistol, but really I want to see how it works as a reflex sight on a rifle. I'm kind of interested in exploring that since I have a lot of tube red dots, a lot of LPVOs, and a lot of standard scopes. So we've got a coated lens here for a little bit better clarity. We have what appears to be the battery compartment here, which is accessible with this little Torx wrench that they include. Let's go ahead and swivel that thing off it's in a nice protected location i like those that are mounted on the top as opposed to um, well the drawer the drawer side ones are actually great like on hollow sun the ones i don't care for are bottom mounted every time you want to take your optic off like on some trijicons you basically have to re-zero your optic every single time so yes there's our battery housing let's go ahead and open up the world's tiniest ziploc bag with the world's biggest thumbs. That's it. That's how a man opens a Ziploc bag when it's that tiny. We're gonna put the 1632 in, nice and snug. Cap back on. Actually, it's squared up rather nice. Sometimes these things are impossible to get uh, threaded back on. It's got a little rubber O-ring. GoWooTar advertises this as a waterproof, shockproof, and fogproof optic. Let's tighten her down and light this thing up. See what we got going on here. Nice and snug without stripping the screws. You guys are probably aware that these little wrenches that come from overseas are pretty much one-use wrenches. They're uh, very easy to strip, so we don't want to strip this guy out just yet. GoWooTar says that by clicking the up arrow... We're going to get a dot, and it appears like we have a nice, crisp red dot there. So it appears the GoWooTar A20 is mounted to this little rail system with a couple of torque screws. We're going to remove those and see what kind of mounting system this thing comes built with underneath. Could this be mounted directly onto a pistol with an optics cut like the Glock MOS series of pistols or something like that. Now they include some thread locked screws here so I imagine that this is going to be ready made for mounting onto any old pistol. Today with me I have my Glock 19 with a hollow sun mounted on it. 
I'm not going to actually take that off and see if this Go Wu Tar will mount onto the Glock, but we're going to take a look at its footprint underneath and see what we've got going. See if it could be used. Little thread locker included on the screws. It's kind of a nice touch. Let's see here. So yes, it appears to me there's your there's your mounting plate and there's your two lugs, two holes. It appears that this is probably a hollow sun or Trigicon footprint. It looks like that would probably snap right onto the Glock 19. In fact, let's take a look at it just for comparison. So the Glock 19 with its hollow sun, this is a hollow sun 407 CGR for green dot. It appears that the Goatar is about the same exact footprint, same exact height, length, front to back, almost identical with front to back length, so it would, it would drop right onto that Glock. It's actually got a little bit less of a hood than the Hollow Sun, and of course it does not have the solar panels up on top, but you can see it's got pretty much exactly the same footprint, same window shape. The optic does sit low enough when mounted, onto a weapon like this Glock 19, which I had drilled, this was not an MOS pistol, that you could witness your suppressor height sights right through the optic. So pretty standard on that regard too. Okay, now it is basically mounted back onto its rail clamp platform. You can see here, it's got the standard spring loaded rail clamp, little springs down in there, nothing surprising there. And then over here, we use that same tool with this little fake Torx head, and we're gonna tighten this down using this tool onto our rifle. Now, YouTube won't let me show you mounting this onto the rifle, so let's take a little break. You guys run and get some popcorn. I'll mount it on here, and we'll see you back here in just a second. So far, if I had one complaint, it's always about the screws on these lesser expensive optics. Okay, I have a video all about the Delta Team Tactical Journeyman DD-15. It's a very inexpensive rifle, easy to get into the AR-15 platform, and so far has turned out to be very, very durable. So I've mounted the Gowutar on the front of that receiver. I don't want to go out onto the rail if I can help it. Mounted it here on the front of the receiver, and as you can tell, it's a pretty streamlined, slim little package. Take a look. Pretty decent little group. Whoops, shot that one. Let's bring that back down. One thing about this Go Wutar, how low it mounts to the rail it is nice and steady snug for catching on gear. However, you really have to get a nice deep cheek weld. There is no jaw weld like on other optics. But once you're deep, that red dot's right there for your eyes. Our final five round group right there. I'm happy with it. Hey, a big shout out to my Patreon members. You guys absolutely keep the show afloat and I appreciate your support. Recently, I did a video giveaway over on Patreon just for my donors. Gave away some little cool OG's Danger Show PVC patches. So if you'd like to join us over on Patreon, the link is in the description below. 
We did a little bit of a drop test, not too high, but I dropped it from about chest high onto the optic just to see how it was gonna take. Now, this is down here on a sandy range deck. I did not drop it on concrete or rocks or from a helicopter or anything silly like that. Standard old use where you might drop it out at the range. Oops, I wasn't taking care of my weapon and uh, dropped it on my optic. Now, I've had no problems with this thing. It stayed attached to the rail and the red dot is still active inside of that window. That's pretty good gear for the average doughy middle-aged dad home defender. That's what we need. Let's give it the OG wash down water test. We want some water on the face of it. Help us wash off some of that sand. But we also want some of the water to get up in there, all up in the electronics. So if there's going to be any problems with this thing, now, we didn't have a chance to submerge it in the river or anything, so you guys unwad your panties, but let's give it a try and see if it's still working after a good sandy drop test, three or four, five impacts on the ground, and a good splashing down with a bottle of water. Right, this A20 appears to be a pretty tough little bastard. It's hit the range deck out here in a four or five little drop test on this sandy range deck. It's also been washed out with water, front and rear. But we were able to clear that optic and get it right back into play after water and sand. So, for the price, pretty tough little bastard. You've got to love the statements that come out of these Chinese optics. Hilarious. Just go and do precise hit. Now, I'd like to thank the guys over at GoWuTar for sending out this cool little red dot optic. It's a nice, sleek little uh, option that's uh, not as big as a re normal red dot tube. It's actually been rather fun to shoot out here on this rifle, being so light and low profile. Now, these dot optics come in available in red dot and green dot. GoWuTar already prices them ridiculously low on Amazon. However, if you would like to get your hands on one of these, they have given me a discount code. I'll put it down here in the comment section, the comment section, folks, below the description section. Pinned to the top of the comment section, you will find a method for going and finding this on Amazon, either in red or green, and a 15% off discount code, just for OG's Danger Show viewers. I think you guys are gonna like it. Don't say I never gave you anything. Remember, if you want this, uh, if you want an optic like this, go down here to the comment section below the video. Use the links down there to buy yourself either a red or a green version and use the discount code to get 15% off of this GoWuTar A20, red or green, over on Amazon. Per your request, OG's Danger Show is now available over on Rumble. Remember, content creators barely make any money, if any money at all, over on Rumble, but it is a good backup platform to keep our stuff safe if uh, YouTube ever takes us down, because these are troubled times. Speaking of troubled times, it is getting dangerous out there. I don't know if you guys have seen the news lately. I encourage you to stay armed where you are legally allowed to do so. And until next video, OG out.